Hi everybody, I'm back in Bradford again, trying a different hotel this time. If you are wondering why I say I'm in Bradford again, check out the video that I published before this one and you will see what I mean. Hi, it's Craig. Welcome back to Craig's Life and welcome to a, another review. Once again, I am back in Bradford. I'm still working in this area and to break up the week with the ridiculously long journeys I've been having an hour and 40 minutes on Monday each way, uh, I'm in another hotel. This is just outside of the centre of Bradford. It's actually not far away from the hotel I was stayed in last week, which was the best Western guidepost hotel so if you want to have a look at that then check out the reviewer left of that i will leave it linked at the end of this video so you can have a look at that uh, direct from this video this is a campanile hotel and i believe they are a french company they are budget hotels i've stayed in campaniles before uh, one i stayed at in cardiff was pretty horrendous one I stayed at in Malaga was rather good. So how does this one compare? Well, have a look and see what you think. Okay, here's the view we see immediately as we walk in to the room. Immediately to the right, we have got all of the hanging area in Campanile corporate green, very, very bright green, and we walk in to the main room here we have a mirror here and as you can see hanging up i've also got a remote control for the air conditioning unit which is actually just above where i am standing here and here is the room as you can see you can see what i mean about it uh, it being basic the walls are all this textured um artex type stuff which isn't very easy to keep clean the whole building as you drive up to it which again like the one i was in last week is in the middle of an industrial estate or a business park it looks like it was built in the 60s and it's just prefab concrete it looks like it's just being thrown up so it looks from the outside it looks very 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 drab so along here you've got your workstation slash dressing table with uh, TV and you have a hairdryer there should you need it as we work along a little bit we have our tea coffee making facilities but as you can see there is not a huge choice and there's only um, four milks as you can see from the bottom of here look they're Ikea mugs that doesn't matter who cares if they're Ikea mugs they do the job but there's not a huge selection uh, here we have a, a dated phone and I do quite like the lamp actually um, the view out of the window, just lift the curtains up a little bit. So as you can see, there is a little bit of greenery. There is some greenery over there. As we look down to, uh, to the right, we're headed towards the, the motorway. So there is a little bit of greenery. So you don't see quite as much of the industrial park, which if we look, is actually just over, over here. Swing back round into the room. We have a single chair and here is the bed. You can see it's creased. I've just laid on it. It's quite soft. It's not the most comfortable of beds, but it's not too terrible. The cushions are, um, sorry, the pillows are not too terrible either. There is a power socket just here, and there's also a power socket here. Why, 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 why they leave the towels on the bed? It is pointless. It would be like leaving the pillows in the bathroom. The towels are supposed to be in the bathroom. But as we look up, we can see there is the air conditioning unit, which, as you know me, I will not be using it, but you can hear behind me the uh, little bit of noise from outside as I've got the windows open. It's quite warm out there today. Decent sized TV. Haven't tried the Wi-Fi yet, but we will see. Let's have a little look at the bathroom. Okay, here is the bathroom. It's got uh, a new sink by the looks of it with a nice new surround which is one of the nicest things about it actually and we've got the bath here now i said this was a french company a core group hotels who own the ibis and mccure they often seem to have the toilet separate from the bathroom which if i come out walk through here and go to here yes 
There's the bathroom, the toilet, and the bulbs blowing. So great, I'm going to have to use the bathroom in the dark. I said in my previous video when I was in the Best Western Guidepost, there's not a huge amount of selection for hotels around here. There are, of course, hotels in the centre of Bradford, but they don't have parking. The other thing around this area is traffic is pretty horrendous getting in and out of Bradford on a night anyway. So even getting here took me 20 minutes. So I am a little bit restricted as to what I can do. Um, but this was an option that I thought I would try. On the booking agent that I use, it got 7.6 out of 10 on the reviews. The one I was in last week, the Best Western, that got, uh, I think it was an 8.2, can't remember. So it was more than this. But as I say, I've stayed in Campanile's before and they generally haven't been too terrible. Now we've come to the point where we score this hotel. So would I stay here again if I'm still in the area? And um, what score am I going to give this? Just for reference, today is the 24th of May 2023. This hotel has cost me £78 pounds for the night. There are other options of rooms available. This is a double room as you've seen. There are also twin beds. You've also got family rooms with extra beds in as well or you could have a sofa bed instead of this chair. So driving up to the hotel it doesn't give you a wow factor. Walking into the room it doesn't give you a wow factor. Looking at the rooms on the website it doesn't look all that bad. Seeing the rooms in real life hmm would I stay here again? So next week, I'm going to be back in Bradford. Am I going to stay here next week? No, I will not be coming back here again. What score am I going to give this? One being the worst, five being the best. Two. If I was going to be really mean, I'd give it a one. This is cheap for a reason. Premier Inns are cheap but they're in better condition than this and they have better features and they're more comfortable. Unfortunately the nearest Premier Inn is a good several miles further away than more traffic and busy roads but I may have to consider that in future. So there we go this is the Campanile Hotel in Bradford and I'm sorry Campanile comparison to the ones I've stayed at previously the one in Malaga, Malaga Airport was absolutely wonderful this one no, not impressed at all and will not be staying here again. But never mind, you live and learn. So until the next time, we'll look forward to seeing you right here on Craig's Life. Bye-bye.